If it's full of bear, I don't care. It's quite a rough ride, just like life. But I'm kind of patient, cause only time will tell. It's gonna go up, so you better stay calm and grow your coins, grow your coins. You gotta grow your coins, grow your coins, grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins. You gotta grow your coins, grow your coins, grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins. You gotta grow your coins, grow your coins, grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins. You gotta grow your coins. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Crypto Crow, and I am going to be doing another video, a tutorial, teaching you baseless, only because I'm doing it the same time I did the setup video, and... Well, you're not going to want to see me right now. <laughs> I'm a little rough after Thanksgiving. Belly's out, shirt is off, it's hot down here, and well, I'd rather be messing with, uh, messing with this bot. So, uh, without everybody seeing me. Uh, no, it's not that bad, but uh, anyway, so tonight we are actually, or today, whenever you're watching this, we're going to be going over backtesting, and we're going to be going over the Bollinger Band strategy. So... Assuming you've watched the previous video, you've got your bot set up, you're charged up, you're ready to rock and roll, you've got your Coinbase account, and you've got a little Bitcoins in there, and uh, so here we are. We're going to go to this drop down, so we're going to click back testing, and then we're going to go to this drop down, and we're going to select the Bollinger Band strategy, a dual Bollinger Band RSI strategy with Crow Guard and Crow Trailing, all right? We're going to click that. Pot aisle. There you go. You got some settings in there. We are going to, uh, if some of you guys will know uh, or remember that I have like this Masari account where it shows you kind of basically what the most volatile coins are uh, at, the, at a, any particular time. And one of the most volatile pairs, one of the most volatile coins I've seen currently is Tezos. So I'm going to look at ZRX, or I'm sorry, it's um, XTZ is the is the ticker. XTZ Bitcoin, all right? So we're going to be trading Tezos on this. Now you can, of course, practice any different pair you want, all right? You're going to find different settings are going to work differently depending on the pair you're trading and its volatility against Bitcoin. So we're going to use market orders. Uh, your starting capital, I just leave it, you know, especially for back testing or whatever, I just leave it at default, which is 0 0.05. Um, and then fixed amount. So 0 0.05 Bitcoin is basically right now $373. That is going to basically trade 283.54316 Tezos uh, every time. All right, and we can adjust this however we want. If you've got a smaller amount, we can do it, uh, let's just say 0 0.01 Bitcoin. So we're gonna trade 75 bucks worth of Tezos. Okay, that's 56 Tezos at the current price, apparently. We're gonna do market orders, and we're gonna take into account the fees. Now, Coinbase Pro just jacked up their fees, the 0.5% make it or take it, all right? So this is defaulted to 0.2, we're just gonna change that to 0.5, all right? We're gonna account for the fees. The period of time, we're gonna look at a 15 minute chart. Now, again, this is something else that you'll be able to experiment with. This is part of the beauty of back testing. You can do whatever you want. And then time span, we can test it over 24 hours, 48 hours, seven days, 14 days, or a month, okay? The time frames down here are going to be dictated by the time frames up here. So if I go one day, if I'm using day candles, I can check that out over a period of the last six months. Okay. So you can go out pretty far, but we're going to go 15 minutes on the Bollinger Band. We're going to say, let's say 14 days. Now, I'm not going to change anything else. This is all I'm going to change right here. I'm going to use these base settings over here. 
not going to put on trailing, stop loss. I'm not going to change my gain percentage. None of this. I'm just going to leave it at default. This is all I've changed. And we're going to see what happens. I'm going to click run. Back test is running. And what it's doing is it's calculating. It's already finished. It's calculating all the entries and exits over the last 14, day, 14 days using a 15-minute candle. Now, before we look at what it's done, I'm going to show you what it's looking at. All right. Now, this is a Bollinger Band. This is a Bollinger Band on a 15-minute candle. And this is ultimately showing you, um, I'm basically going to show you what the bot is looking for, okay? Now, ultimately, what the bot is looking for is it's looking for entries at the bottom of the band, and it wants to sell them higher up in the band. But again, this is going to be dependent on what you are trying to do. Now, you have to remember, some of these trades, while they look good, may not be that may that may not be that fruitful all right let's say here to here all right that's about a four percent trade in there okay now this is also back testing so it's not necessarily going to catch every one of these um but it's also not going to bother trading trades that are under a certain percentage of potential gain and so you know you want the bot to be honest with you so we go back in here. Let's look at the gain percentage. 3% over 17 trades. Okay. Now, this is also based off of a 1% gain. So once the bot has got into a position and it sees a potential for a 1% gain, it's th that's 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 it. It's going to try and exit, okay? Now, for whatever reason, this is not showing. Oh, that okay. So this is basic. It's making these trades, but your total gain is actually only three point one eight percent on all of that. Why? Because Coinbase is taking 0.5 percent on the buy and 0.5 percent on the sell. So once it's 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 basically eating up a lot of your profit. All right. So it's making a lot of trades. And it's showing you all those entries and exits, but you're basically giving up that 1% to Coinbase. And you're accumulating the difference, okay? So that's what this is showing you. This is showing you. Now, it's also saying, hey, if you bought in at the very back here and just held it, you'd be up 27%. But that's, that's hindsight, right? You don't know what's going to happen in the market. So... What I do know is that I want to make less trades. And I know that the idea of bot trading is you want to get in and out, in and out, in and out as many times as possible, right? Uh, but you don't want Coinbase to be eating up your profit. So I want to experiment a little bit here. And I'm going to say, you know what? I want, I want to, I'm not, I don't want to trade it unless I'm going to make 5% gains. I want to make at least 5% gains on my trades. Let's see what happens there. So before I go into it, I want to ask you, do you think that you're going to make less trades with more profit, more trades with less profit? How do you think this is going to turn out? So far, I made less trades with more profit, okay? And again, I'm looking at the volatility here. I'm, I'm exiting here. I'm buying in lower. I'm exiting up here, buying in again lower. I have, I'm waiting for that. I'm exiting up here. So you can see where it's going. Like from right here, it, it entered a position, but from there, the price has gone down. So because it entered up here and the price basically didn't give me a possibility of getting at least 5% profit, it's, and it, it's basically rode that down. Now, what I could have done if I want to, if I want to just not do that, I could either a throw in a stop loss in here, and it will have exited me out prior to this going down more, right? Maybe I could have taken a little bit of a loss though, but I would still have my capital up here while this is riding all the way down. Okay, so that's one thing that I could have done. So I, in, in this kind of trade activity, I could have just taken used a stop loss. 
I typically don't use a stop loss, but in this case, maybe I want to. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say, uh, let's just set a stop loss at, I don't know, 0 0.15, I don't know. Let's see what that would have done. Ooh, total of 51 trades, negative 5%. Look at all that. Pow, pow, pow. Getting stopped out a lot on that. Let's say I want to set a stop loss at um, 1.5%. See how that changes things. All right, 27 trades, but now my percentage gains only 1%. Sometimes just holding a bit gives you an opportunity to make bigger profits. Now, when I have used um, bots in the past, what I always typically, I never use stop losses. Um, but what I did do was I used DCA. Now that's something that's being worked on. We're going to be adding that to Crow Trader at some point sooner than later, I'm sure. Um, but DCA is really important to me because rather than worry about the stop loss, I'm basically averaging down my position. So what I'm doing rather than say, oh, well, I bought up here and the price has gone down. Well, what I'm doing is I'm doubling down, doubling down, doubling down, doubling down. And I'm continuing to improve my position by buying it at cheaper prices, ultimately averaging out the price I bought in for. So maybe if I bought in at 10 cents here, eight cents here, seven cents here, well, then my average price might be six and a half cents or seven and a half cents so now the bot or the price only has to go up just a little bit it doesn't have to go all the way up to 10 cents it could go to six and you know it could go up to seven cents basically and and i can exit my position at profit and that's what averaging down is that's what dca settings are for so <clears throat> excuse me let's just get rid of the stop loss but at this point i want to do um, I want to say, let, let's just say, I want a 15% profit. You can't give me a 15% profit. I'm not going to bother making the trade because I'm not paying Coinbase, right? Let's see what happens there. Five percent gains. Very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to improve. I'm going to change this to 80. I want to buy back. I want to buy in lower. Okay, I want to buy in lower on the band. Five percent gains. Very interesting. Now let me see something. Oh. Huh. I don't know what's going on. Uh, kind of weird because. I was running some of these tests earlier and I was getting much better gains. I wonder if it has to do with my, my money. I don't know. Let's try it. What happens? Doubt that would play a difference. Yeah. Well, I guess it does. Now I've only made one trade, but it's been an 8.75% trade. Huh? Stop loss. No. RSI from the band. Uh, let's try a six percent trade. Huh? Not sure what's happened. This is really weird. Let me see if I did this. The ZRX. Let's try ZRX. A lot more. Maybe this is what I did earlier. See, there's two trades at 11% gain, and I'm making better gains than buying and holding. 
So let me see them out. Let's try a fourteen cent game. Mm mm. No. That's nope, nope, no potential there. No potential. Potential. No potential for those kinds of gains. None there. All right. Fine then. Go to seven percent. Now we're showing twelve percent gains. That's off a different pair. This is off a of ZRX BTC. So, I mean, basically, you see what I'm doing. I'm experimenting with different things like gain. I'm experimenting with time frames. Like, let's go back to Tezos. Oh wait, that's Tezos USD. Tezos Bitcoin. All right. So now let's take a look at what a one hour over 14 days does with these same settings, just out of curiosity. Here we go. Two trades at 13.45%. So, and this is, these are the settings, okay? So the, the, the very idea is, is that I'm saying, okay, look, bot, I wanna buy in low, but I only want to make the trade. I only want to exit when the when I can buy in low and sell really high. So if I can buy in somewhere like this and I can, you know, you can see a trade, that's 23% if the bot catches that. But I want something, I, I basically want, you know, like if I've got that gain set to 10%, I, I'm looking for stuff like this. I want to buy in here and and, and sell higher. And that's basically what the Bollinger Band strategy is looking for. It's looking for those kinds of opportunities so that you don't have to. Um, now, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to start this from scratch because I want to make sure that you guys are getting it. And I want to see if maybe I changed something or, or, or what. Because I was getting some better uh, positions. XTZ. Market order. I'm going to leave that at stock or at base, order, slippage and fees, 25, 15 minutes, over 14 days. Uh, I'm gonna change this to 80, one A, A, 14% gain, no stop loss, no nothing, let's let them go. There we go. That's what I was seeing. Now, now I'm seeing a 25% gain. I don't know if sometimes if if you if you mess with it too much, the algorithm wants you to just reset, start from scratch because it's reading different you know parts of information. But this is ultimately, while it doesn't seem like much, it's only doing two trades. Those two trades are very profitable. Okay, and so you know. To each their own, but look, this is a 16% gain on this trade and a 15% trade on that one. Now, the thing of it is, is before I leave it here, you know, oh, and I'll show you something else. Let's say, let's say I really like these settings and, you know, I want to give them to you guys. I can come over here to settings options. And I can say, I'm going to save these settings. All right. So there's, I'm going to save that. And then I want to share them. There we go. All I have to do is copy the clipboard and as an experiment, I'll put these in. I'm gonna paste them into the the uh, the Crow Trader Telegram group right there. And we'll see what happens. That'll be an experiment. But if you watch this video, you'll know what to do from now on. Because what you'll do is you'll come in here and you'll say, I wanna load settings and I'm gonna paste them. I paste them right there and boom going to automatically load everything and then I can run it and that's it and that's how you're going to I'm going to be giving you guys my settings when I'm experimenting and I'm doing different things you're just going to see me copy and I'm going to paste them right into the crow trader telegram channel and you can put throw them into your bot run a test let me know give me feedback reply to those settings say hey crow I just ran those I'm getting a negative or I'm getting you know 0.8 percent or I'm getting 28 percent let me know but this is basically showing you my total P&L 
I my my P and L started here. This is where my gains. This is the gains that I would have made over the last fourteen days in those two trades. Pretty pretty significant. And so the next step. Let's say I like this. And so I'm like, okay, I like these settings. I want. I'm good with just making two trades, getting a twenty five percent gain. Boom. Start paper trade. And now I've got it. And so from now on, this is going to be a Bitcoin based paper trade moving forward over a 15 minute chart and it's going to be looking for high gains okay now this is also dependent on the volatility of the pair so if bitcoin and tezos is crossing back and forth over each other a lot that's what's going to help dictate the price potential uh, or the price action that the bot's going to act from now, hindsight is always 2020, right? So it's easy for the bot to go back and say, well, we could have done this. We, 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 you know, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And another thing and look really pretty. Sometimes based on the past, you know, your, your paper trading is going to be different because your paper trades are going to be acting on the current market. It's scanning for an entry right now. It's looking for an opportunity. So it's looking at this Bollinger Band and it's wait. It's going to wait for the price to come down somewhere really low because I set it at an 80. So it's going to be looking at the very bottom of this Bollinger Band for an entry opportunity. And once it hits, then it's going to buy automatically. Okay. And then it's going to be looking for your exit. So that's how this Bollinger Band strategy is going to work. And you can you can change the settings, play with things, but this is ultimately in paper trading right now. So what happens now is let's say I am I'm looking for um so this is actually showing you the order book and things like that. So you can kind of get an idea as to where things are going. Um but let's just say that I I, I like this. It, I'm looking at my paper trades. It's made six trades, crazy gains. This is something that looks to be very profitable in the current market. All I have to do is hit this button right here and it turns on live trading. And at that point, it's actually going to start using the Bitcoin that you have currently on your Coinbase account. If I've let this run for a week, several days, and I'm like, it's not doing anything. I don't really like it. I can either wait or I can just delete it. And that's that. If I want a quick look at what the settings are, because maybe I forgot or whatever, I can scroll through here. I can see these are my settings. This is what's currently happening. Sentinel is the bot algorithm, basically. And then here are the trades. And that's that. And you can do the same thing with Ethereum or US, USD pairs. And this kind of separates everything. So you can have, have at a glance look at your starting capital, your current capital, PL for today, for yesterday, and for the past week. And that's it, folks. That's Bollinger Band strategy, back testing, and paper trading. I'll be back with another video going over yet another strategy. We're going to get through them all. See you guys soon. Crow your coins.